now we're going to Universal. Well, actually, that's a lie. Hopefully, I don't get ridiculed and thrown out. Ah, I'm gonna fall showing you my fit. It's like the best ride we've ever had on the hippogriff. Heading over to the mommy. Mom will not ride it with me, so I will be going alone. Okay, so here's the deal. I may or may not be going on a trip today. I've been planning on it for about a month and a half. Things have just not been going my way in the past week. There have been two snowstorms and the third is starting right now. I had three snow days along with the weekend, so I had five days off of school. I have midterms this week and they got pushed and now we're going on a trip, hopefully. Our flight is delayed an hour, so I'm gonna bring you guys along in the event that I actually do go on a trip. Today, we are going to Universal. I'm very excited. We have been in Florida for like three days now, and this is the grand finale of our trip. We've been visiting family four days, Okay, it's the fourth day. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's the fourth day that we've been in Florida. We've been in Florida for three full days. Now we're going to Universal. Well, actually, that's a lie. We're going to Disney Springs to get lunch. And then we're going to Universal. We're staying at Royal Pacific, and we're gonna have an evening in the park, and then morning in the park, and then we fly out tomorrow afternoon. Bring you guys along, let's head to Disney Springs for some lunch. So we made it to Disney Springs. I think we're going to get mac and cheese from the boathouse and I have a nice little view of the boathouse from here where like, look at my view. Nice view, huh? But yeah, we're gonna get some lunch and then mosey our way on over to Universal and I'm playing for the other team at the moment. Hopefully I don't get ridiculed and thrown out. So we're done at Disney Springs and the food was really good. So here's the plan. We are getting gas right now and then we are returning our car at Royal Pacific, which is really convenient. Then we are zooming on into the parks after we check our bags because it's like almost 1 p.m. So it's not check-in time yet. So we can't like get into our room to freshen up or anything. Hence why I changed in the parking garage. So I'm in my most of my costume. I have my robes back there. But yeah, I think it's like a little less than a 20 minute drive up to Universal. And I will see you guys there once we ditch the car, get our bags checked, get the rest of the stuff ready to go into Universal and we're on our way. So we got into our hotel room. We are on the first floor. We decided that it was better to be in the closed tower than to be on a higher floor. And we have a garden view. Thankfully we do have a chance to freshen up before we head out to the park so we're gonna go over in a few minutes. I think it's about 2 p.m. we are heading over to the parks. I think we're doing Universal first. Here's the... Ah! I'm gonna fall showing you my fit. I almost did. Yeah Universal first. Probably just gonna hang out. Definitely no ice cream today because we got all the baked goods. But yeah let's head to Universal. So we've just been walking around and taking some footage for like reels and stuff. Just some immersive wizarding footage, I guess, just like me picking wands and stuff. But we've been seeing a lot of people who are in like full costume and I don't know why. Like we saw uh, Dumbledore, all of the Weasleys, a bunch of people and it's really cool to see them all like fully dressed up. But I don't know why they're all here. Like I always dress up, even if it's like 95 degrees out. So I'm wondering, where all these people are coming from. We are in the outside world. We are heading over to The Mummy actually because I haven't ridden it since before it was refurbished. So I haven't ridden it since like 
November 2021, I think. Also, we found out why everyone's dressed up. They're part of like a Facebook group, two Facebook groups actually, like wizarding meetups. So we joined the Facebook group. But yeah, heading over to the mommy. Mom will not ride it with me. So I will be going alone. We came back to the room for a little bit to get some dinner, have a little rest, so we are heading back out to the parks. I think we're just gonna hang out in Hogsmeade. I don't really think we have any plans to go on rides, maybe a couple rides, but not really very much. We don't really feel like waiting 105 minutes to go on Hagrid's. We were talking about going on it at night because we've never done that. We've only ever done like right as the park is opening, so I would love to do that, but it's only if the wait time is like 65 or lower, which it's not going to be. We've been having a very lucky, well, past like, what, 10 minutes? So we watched the light show, and then, well, actually, first I acquired a friend. I bought this little lion. What were you calling him? Griffy. Griffy? I think it's a good name. We'll see if he fits it, but I've been eyeing this lion for over a year since it, like, came out, basically, and finally bought it. So then we got in line for the hippogriff, and we're like, oh, we're gonna miss the light show. Well, at first I was like, we should try to get on it for the light show. And then the light show started, we're like, oh, we're gonna miss the light show. And then the light show is going and we're like, yeah, we're gonna miss the light show. And then we got on and went. The fireworks went off like when we were at the top of the lift hill and went all the way down and the last fireworks went off like right as we were coming around the last turn. So it was like absolutely perfect timing. It's like the best ride we've ever had on the Hippogriff, so that was awesome. We never ever ride rides at night, ever. And it's January, so we have a lot of nights, so we got lucky with that ride time. But we're just sitting behind the three broomsticks and we're gonna watch for another light show. We made it back to our hotel room and we had a really nice evening in the parks and I got Griffy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to carry him on the plane He's not going to fit in my bag, so that's okay. I think they'll be fine with me carrying a stuffed animal. I don't think we'll get in trouble for that. I think we're going to watch some TV, go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. We are on our way to Islands of Adventure this morning. It is uh, like 7.20 or something, so we're going to wait kind of a while outside of the parks, but we'd rather wait before park opening than actually like stand in a line. So that's what our plan usually is. I'll see you guys when we get in. We're planning on going on Hagrid's if it is open this morning. We kind of missed our opportunity to go on it last night, so hopefully we can get on it today. We just got off Hagrid's, which you can kind of tell from my hair. It's a little bit of a mess, but of course it's worth it. But the wait time now says 90, so. Oh, oh, just jumped to 105, okay. I don't think we're gonna be waiting again. We were talking about it, but probably not the best idea for today to waste like the rest of the time we have here, just standing in line for Hagrid. So I think we're just gonna hang out for a little bit in Hogsmeade, then head over to Diagon Alley. We didn't get to ride Gringotts yesterday, so that's something we wanted to do this morning. But yeah, it's so nice and empty today, just this early, because it's like 
I don't know, probably like 8 o'clock right now. Heading back out to Universal, we stopped in the room and checked out, packed everything up, and I did a little outfit change because it is getting really hot out. I think the high today is 86, which we're definitely not used to, even after being in Florida for five days. It hasn't been hot. We're lucky to get a little bit of hot weather. But yeah, we're going in. We haven't been able to ride Queen Gods yet or get any butterbeer ice cream, so I think those are our two main goals trains have been down all day that's why we didn't go there this morning so I don't know if the trains are going to open up again before we head out in a couple hours we went on Gringotts and now we got some butterbeer ice cream I think we have a little over an hour left in the parks so I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet but we're gonna enjoy this and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do but get this very beautiful view